God, for all your goodness and your mercy. God, we thank you for this month of July, God. Amen. We close out this campaign of fighting for the family. God, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, God, for what we have learned and what we have seen. We thank you for the souls who become part of the Green Life Community Church family. We thank you, God, for those who have been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bless your name, God, for your goodness and your mercy and your love and kindness. We give you all, all the praise. We give you all the honor, God, for allowing us to be the salt of the earth, God. We thank you for the life that we have touched and influenced, God, to come to know you and serve you and fulfill your purpose here on earth. We thank you, God, for being the light of the world, God. That we let our light shine, God. That men might have seen our good deeds, God. And they give you all the glory. And we give you all the honor. Jesus might be lift you up, God. That we might draw all men unto you. Father, we thank you now for this word, God. We thank you now, God, that we are in a wonderful war. We thank you now, God, we fight for the family, God. And we must leave a legacy of faith and trust in you. Let us be an example to our young ones and to our children, God. Let us walk by faith and not by sight. God, use your word today, God, through the power of the Holy Spirit to teach and guide us, God. Let us be built truth unto us, God, that we might be free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you now, God, for hearing our cry. We believe we receive what we ask for. In Jesus' name we pray. All those who love God say, Amen and Amen. Praise God, I want to close out, Amen, the teaching today. Praise God, on, Amen, a point that I want to share with you, Amen, the winnable war. The winnable war. Now, I keep on verse, Amen, for these servants, Amen, praise God. It's been Nehemiah, the fourth chapter, and verse 14. And read on this part. Then as I look over the, the situation, I called together the leaders and all the people and said to them, Do not be afraid of the enemy. Remember the Lord who is great and glorious and go fight for your family. In, for your friends and your family. Your sons and daughters, husbands and wives, brothers and sisters, even your in-laws in your home. That's Nehemiah 4, 14. So pray that we have here a charge. That even that Nehemiah found out as he tried to rebuild the walls to Jerusalem, that he had to fight for his family. And your family are your sons, your daughters, your in laws, and your praise God. And then I like the last part, it says, Amen, fight for your home. I told y'all earlier, praise God, Amen, praise God. Many people have houses, have a roof over their head, they have somewhere to stay, but they don't have a home. Amen. So much chaos. So much going on. So much happening behind closed doors. Somebody say amen. Amen. Some may be open, but nobody finds out. Oh, somebody died. Some of y'all not talking to me. Amen. Some may be open, but no, no one will ever find out what goes on behind our closed doors. But praise God, God wants to fight for our families. And praise God, and fight for our homes. Amen. Amen. There's nothing more miserable to come to your house. And you're miserable. Amen. Somebody amen. say amen. amen. You walk through your doors, you lose all your joy. Amen. amen. Walk through your doors, lose all your peace. Amen. Walk through your own doors, and you're scared. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we thank God for amen. If we learn today, praise God. We're going to talk today about amen. Not only fighting for your family, but praise God. We're going to talk today about amen. Uh, leave the legacy. Of faith. Somebody say, leave a legacy. Leave a legacy. Of faith. Amen. Okay. So we see here, praise God, we fight for our family. We must leave. We are leaving a legacy of faith. Amen. Somebody say, amen. amen. When you truly stand up and love your family, yeah. you leave something behind. Amen. amen. I remember the song. I think I don't know if it was I don't know who ever made the song, but say the song that Pop was a Rolling Stone. Yeah. Somebody yeah. say, amen. amen. Then we get to the part that when he died, all he left was what? For the home. Amen. Amen. Whether you want to or not, when you pass and leave this life, you will leave some type of legacy. Amen. Amen. See some of y'all smiling at me. Amen. Amen. And whether you want to or not, when you leave this world, when your time is up here on this earth, you're going to leave a legacy. Amen. Either somebody who's really loved the Lord. Praise God of somebody who what, what you are. Now if you don't let that talk about you while you lie, as Pastor John always say, die. <laughs> amen. Somebody say amen. amen. 
People will talk about you. People will, you will, they will talk about the legacy yes. that you left. And they, and they have no room, I mean, to create anything else because all they have is what you left. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So as we fight for the family, praise God, we must make sure that we leave a legacy of faith. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. So when you when you are stressed down here, can't, they, they say Captain Sharp. Somebody say amen. amen. In your best, amen. And you laid out here, whatever words are said about you, praise God, is going to speak about your legacy that you left here on earth. Amen? Uh, Hebrews, amen, the uh, 11th chapter and verse 6, amen, it says, Without faith it's impossible to please God. Amen. Because anyone who comes to him must believe he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Yes. In other words, praise God, Hansburg, we'll say like this, amen, if you keep it at 100, yes. you seek the Lord and you've been for real, for real. Amen. Somebody say amen? amen. You ain't playing. Amen? If you want to live a legacy for God, amen, of faith, amen, you've got to seek Him. You know, without faith, you, it's impossible to please God. Amen. Stop. Stop. Somebody say amen. amen. When you're lacking faith, you sit in the same seat as an atheist. Somebody say amen. amen. When you're not walking in faith and believing and trusting God, you have got up out of your Christian walk and you walked over. Back to those sheep, sheep, and leaves. So I'm just using an example. You walked over and sat down next to an atheist. That's how I'm with you. Amen. We in the same boat. You don't believe. And then now, what I'm facing, I don't believe either. Amen. So am I saying that? Amen. But from the talk, we got to leave a legacy of faith. So how do we do it? Amen. We must model and teach about faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. So how do I live by faith? Let me give you a quick seven ways, praise God, and then we're going to give you some baptism, praise God, and, and some people joining this part of the family. Is that all right? Amen. Real quickly, praise God. Amen. Faith is believing when I don't see it. How many of you can believe something that you don't see? Be honest. How many of your children have more faith than you? They can believe that you're going to do something if they ain't seen nothing yet. Amen. Do I have a witness in here? Amen. If you don't believe me, tell your children right now, tell your grandbaby right now, something you can do for them. Come on, mother. What's the mother? They're going to wear you there, don't they? <laughs> Amen. Because they're going to honor your word, praise God. Amen. Because they believe that what you say is what you want to do. They might get out, see the bike, get out, see the PlayStation or, or, or the equipment, or the, or the game, or whatever that they say you want to do, or the clothes and stuff. They might can't see it, can't touch it, but they believe it will happen. Somebody say amen. amen. And they're going to stay on you to what? But when we get grown, somehow, Brother Edward, amen, we, we, we say we trust in God, but we will never come back to God in prayer. We would never tell him how much we need it. We would never remind him how much he promised to fulfill all the promises to us and we walk by faith. Isn't that something? Isn't that amazing how we won't do anything that our children do automatically? I see mother clapping her hands. I think I'm preaching pretty good. Somebody say amen. amen. Because we see children do this, praise God, but we won't do it. I'm so glad to see my son. Amen. Ain't God good? Amen. 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 Let me hear a brief thing for me. Amen. Faith is being sure, uh, Hebrews 11 and 1, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Amen. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. And this is what children's minds are, a little children of uh, uh, Middle Mark. They are sure that you're going to do what you say. And they will remind you in a very emotional, compassionate way. But you said, yeah. there's Saturday. That's right. If you said Saturday, I promise you, your children will wake you up. Yeah. Somebody say amen. amen. The door ain't even open yet. They are in your faith. Mama, yeah. daddy, wake, mama, dad, wake up, wake up. It's Saturday. Boy, the door ain't open. I know, but get up. Let's get ready. If they're, if they're 